Two Nissan dealership employees recently arrested in Georgia after customers alleged fraud. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homer Guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homer Gal. There are two things that stand out to me in this story, notably reported by Automotive News, 11 Alive News out of noon in Georgia, and others. First, it was just days ago that we launched this show titled 13 Ways Car Dealers Commit Fraud. And a few of the fraud types committed in this story were just on our recent show. Yep. Perhaps this is why YouTube tried to prevent the upload of our show on dealer fraud. Go back and see it if you missed it. The second thing that stands out to me in this story is that there's a clue in the headline as to how this dealership got busted and how these employees ended up being sent to jail. Friends, we said it in the previous show, Kevin just mentioned, that you, the car buyer, must play a role in busting dealers when they engage in illegal activity. Take this seriously. These two dealer employees went to jail because car buyers, their own customers, reported them. And one woman actually went on to put up a Facebook page to find out more customers who had the same experience. She's my kind of lady. So who was this offending dealer this time? Yeah. Nissan of Noonan in Georgia is the latest target of a police investigation after shoppers in late 2022 reported fraudulent items within their vehicle purchase paperwork. So you see, friends, it's not just the FTC who busts offending dealers. This time it was the local police who hauled away two guys in cuffs. Not just any two guys, but two finance officers at Nissan of Noonan in Georgia have been arrested amid a police investigation into customer reports of fraud on vehicle purchase paperwork. Ha! The good old finance office strikes again. Yeah. Two customers reported forged signatures on their documentation, with one alleging the forgery in connection with a vehicle service contract and other add-on items included in the deal without her knowledge. A third police report found a couple alleging the dealership lied to a financial institution about the trim level of the pickup they purchased, a practice known in the finance and insurance industry as power booking. Holy cow, Liz, we just mentioned this stuff two days ago in our yeah. show, 13 Ways Dealers Commit Fraud. And these guys clicked several of these boxes, power booking, forced add-ons, and forged signatures. A spokeswoman for the city of Noonan would not confirm whether any arrests had been made in the case, citing the ongoing investigation into the dealership. Funny that the city wouldn't comment on this when the employee's own attorney confirms it. Attorney John Lovell of the Law Office of John Lovell said his clients, Joshua Sherman and Mohammed Kareem Hassan, had each been arrested on suspicion of single counts of theft by deception in connection with the case. Theft by deception. Mm. The two were arraigned in Coweta County Magistrate Court in Noonan and both pleaded not guilty, Lovell said. Of, of course. course. We don't know what you're talking about, squealed the little piggies. <laughs> On March 19th, the dealership's website listed Sherman as a sales manager and Hassan as an executive manager, according to a Google cache. They were not present on the retailer's staff page as of Wednesday, and their current employment status was unclear. Attorney Lovell said in a statement Wednesday, I am a firm believer in the American concept of innocent until proven guilty. I request that these men be given the presumption of innocence. That's something we can't do. No. I look forward to presenting additional evidence and proving their innocence. I feel really sorry for these two clowns. No, you don't. Nope, I sure don't. Now, Karen Kalinich, CFO of Nissan of Noonan owner Smith Automotive Group, told Automotive News she would not comment on advice of counsel. Sure. Police reports provided by the city of Noonan in connection with the case date back to late last year. Last October, Irina Alfieri said she hadn't bought what a Noonan police report characterized as an extended warranty or other add-ons during a September vehicle purchase, but discovered them on the deal anyway, according to the report. According to police, the signature on these add-on documents differ from the signature on the standard purchase papers. The add-on signatures were done electronically, not by hand. Miss mm. Alfieri stated that she had tried to get this matter reversed with the dealership, however, they had not been inclined to address the issue, police wrote. Not inclined to address the issue? Hmm, I wonder what they're thinking now. Right. And this dealer is so clearly in the wrong. Lindsay Collins told authorities in December that she attempted to return a vehicle to Nissan of Noonan under a lemon law, but the retailer refused to take it back, according to the police report. She alleged the paperwork on the deal held multiple forged signatures, and Noonan police reported an apparent difference in the signatures. The same day as Collins' report, an officer met with customer Justin Steele and his wife. The couple alleged they bought a 2018 Ford F-150 XLT, 
but found Nissan of Noonan told their lender it was a Ford F-150 Platinum. Whoa. Huge difference with what the officer described as specific trims and items not present on the couple's truck. The couple said this configuration carried a vehicle cost of $47,000 instead of the actual $33,000 price on the XLT. And the change was so that the financial institution would allow the amount to be processed at a higher rate. For all the denials coming from the city and the employee's attorney, the local news sure isn't holding back. Headlines from local news, 11 Alive read, Police charge Coeta County car dealership employee with multiple counts of fraud. At least one worker is now charged with fraud against three different victims for allegedly forging signatures and income as well as power booking. <laughs> so there's another crime there. Uh-huh. What's interesting is that one of these victims, Desiree Larusa, started a Facebook group called Nissan of Noonan Victims to find other customers who had a similar experience. This is one mama bear they made the mistake of trying to screw over. She is totally my kind of lady. Kevin reached out to her on the Facebook page, and we hope we'll be hearing from her to share her testimony in a video shortly. We will also include a link to the 11 Alive news coverage in the description box below. So let's get this straight. One of the victims said in the report this dealership sold them a base model vehicle but listed a platinum model costing an extra $13,000 on the loan. That's the crime of power booking. Another victim reported some additional purchase agreements were added to her loan and police noted in the report the signature on her papers appeared different than the signature on her driver's license. Hmm, I wonder why. Perhaps because it isn't her signature? <laughs> There's the crime of forged signatures and forced purchase of add-ons. Back with more interesting details on the story right after this message from Mary Jo. Hello, I'm Mary Jo from the Homework Guide team. Don't Kevin and Elizabeth do a great job? We are so proud of every show our team puts out, carefully researched for accuracy, and designed to help car buyers just like you. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell so you get notifications of upcoming shows. Thank you for listening. And by the way, if you haven't already noticed, check out the light pattern on the ceiling. Pretty cool, huh? Desiree LaRussa said she sent her daughter to Nissan of Noonan to have some work done on her car. They told her that her transmission was out and it was going to leave her and her daughter stranded on the side of the road, she said. She adds that Nissan of Noonan convinced her daughter to buy a truck that day. I'm seriously doubting that transmission story right now. Yeah, seriously. LaRussa explained, When I started looking through the documentation, there were forgeries on the documents. I got them on a recording admitting to forgery on her documentation. Way to go. Yeah, LaRussa showed 11 Alive News a text message she said from one of the dealership's employees claiming recording without consent is illegal. But that's not correct since Georgia is a one-party consent state. He says recording is illegal? Yeah. Did they know that fraud was illegal? Yeah. Funny how their recall of law is so selective. Right. She also showed 11 Alive her daughter's known signature and the signature on the loan document she provided. Noonan police noted in their report apparent difference in signature. To make matters worse, LaRusa also said they had lied to the lender about her salary on the documentation to get a loan she never would have been approved of. Her daughter ended up with a $700 per month car payment and her salary is $30,000 a year. Ouch. Yeah, but LaRusa says they put down she makes about $60,000 a year. Adding the Kelly Blue Book value of the truck was $14,000, but the loan was for almost double that. It was worth less, way less than they financed it for. Man, I like this gal. <laughs> yeah, and that's exactly why they do power booking because <laughs> they pack so much crap into that much lower trim level truck that they needed the upper trim level in order to get it financed. Yeah. The dealership eventually purchased the vehicle back from LaRusse's daughter and gave her a thousand bucks for her original vehicle that she used to get another used car. John Lovell, the attorney for Nissan of Noonan, sent 11 Alive the following statement. From the information I have been given, law enforcement is pushing the envelope in charging these gentlemen. I look forward to presenting additional evidence and proving their innocence. Mr. Lovell, you have got an uphill battle on your hands. If law enforcement digs further, we have total confidence they will find a pattern here that involves a lot more than just these two guys. Funny that we just covered a story on fraud and then a dealer gets busted and ticked off multiple offenses we just mentioned. Certainly more needs to be done to stop this kind of stuff. But remember, friends, you are part of the solution to fixing the problem, just like Desiree did. You have to report it when it happens. If you learned something today and you want to make sure you don't miss our future shows, you need to subscribe and hit the notification bell. 
You can also connect with us on Facebook. If you want more in-depth information, please visit our website, thehomeworkguy.com. A lot of frequently asked questions can be answered right on our website. When you get there, scroll down the main page to find tons of free downloads designed to help you get through the process of buying a car without getting ripped off. Lastly, if we've helped you save time and money finding a car, consider showing us some love by leaving a tip at any of the links below. You'll see a super thanks button just below the video, and there are links for making a tip in the description box. You can easily find them by clicking the read more button seen below. Thanks, everyone. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guide channel, as Mary Jo said and Elizabeth just reminded you, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Join our fast-growing group of subscribers and become a part of our YouTube family. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. And to all of our faithful subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Unlike dealerships, the Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.